We're starting the Ezra Hashem Sim and Kuf Samach Tes. And the last couple of Simonim, we were talking about the member in the Gemara and Shabbos that the Asnida Toyer Shetish Takach Misrael. And the explanation was that Rabbi Shim Ba Yechoi, who says, Chas V'Shalom Shetish Takach Toyer Misrael, he's also the same Tanah who said, Asnida Toyer Shetish Takach Misrael. So what's the difference? The difference is when he was saying the Toyer is going to be forgotten, he, he meant that it will be like he says at the end, that there won't be halacha brewer, but macha mecha, we won't have a psak halacha. Which the Rebbe explained to me in the Avada, you know, in, in all the doyers there was machlekes. So obviously there wasn't a clear cut, one, unanimous opinion, but the difference is that in the most ik for the Mashiach, the time when, when the Gemara is describing there, when the Torah will be forgotten, it means that we won't know how to paskin because we'll have people with different opinions, we won't know whose opinion is. A pure, Torah based, a pure, a Torah or, based? Or externally based, right? Or whose opinion is based on the pressure of the times? Or external factors? External factors. Okay. Shuvis boy nanti bedivrei hashas sukkah daf chaf amadalaf. That now there's another Gemara that talks about shich kasa Torah, and the Gemara is in sukkah daf chaf amadalaf. Let's yeah, take, going through this. Let's, let's take a look at this. this one. Let's take a look inside. Right. That by Ashley that's Gedola. You know when they when, when they restore the. So yeah. Well, this is this is the first page in the Mar Makoyim sheets, and it's it's near the bottom. Um, the Ozdere Eish Lakish Le It's like seven lines up from the bottom. Uh, the Omer Eish Lakish Hareini Kaparas Rebchia Uvanov. Eish Lakish said, I'm, I'm a Kapara. The story that come upon me are a Kapara for Rebchia and his sons. Shabbat Chila Keshenish Takh Hatoyer Misrael. That originally, when, during the Gaulist between Bayes Rish and Bayes Sheni, when the Torah was forgotten from the Yidden and Eretz Yisrael, so all of Ezra and Babel, Ezra came up from Babel. And Viasta, and he, he, he brought back the Torah because the Torah wisdom was never lost in Babel. The Rashi says here, uh-huh. uh, uh, in the next Rashi, let's I mean, was Ezra born in Babel or he was exiled along with the other Yidim from Babel? Well, I, think was, I, think, I don't know if he was born in Babel, but he was raised in Babel. He, uh-huh. he became a Talmud of Baruch ben Neria, who was a Talmud of Yirmiyah Navi. Uh-huh. But I don't think he was old enough in Eretz Yisrael. Even if he was that old, he wasn't uh-huh. old enough to be, a, to be raised there. Anyway, uh-huh. so. Chazer of Nishtakha, then it became forgotten again. All of Hilo Habavli Viasta. During right. the, the, the Hilo Habavli restored after it forgot because of Yavan. A hundred years before the Chorban Abais. And Chazer of Nishtakha, and then it was forgotten again. So all the Rabchia Ubana Viastuha. Rabchia Ubana came from Babel to Eretz Israel and they, they brought back the Torah. It just comes to show you that. So look, just look at Rashi. Yeah. All of Hilo Habavli, Shemiyoim Shigala Yechanya, Acharash Vamazgir Imoy. By the the Chorban Bayis Rishon, uh, eleven years before the actual Chorban, there was the Gaulus of Yechania, and during that Gaulus, the Charash and the Masgir, which Chachamim say means the the Chachme Ador, the the you know the Chazal, they went into Gaulus eleven years before the Chorban. So Haisi Yeshiva Mitzuya Babal, they established Yeshivas in Babal, and that's why there was always Torah in Babal from that time onward. So even if the Torah was forgotten in Eretz Yisrael, there was always some some someone in Babal who could come up and. Bring it back again. So, uh, yeah. th- so this we're going to talk about this more. That the, the first shikha that was talked about here, that Ezra came up from Eretz, from Babel, that's understandable because there were no chachamim in Eretz Yisrael during the Gauls. Uh-huh. But in the second one, also we understand what happened there. The Bnei Brisera, who were the Nesim before Hill came, they forgot the halachas of uh, Pesach Torah Shabbos, and Hill had to come teach it to them. But the third one we're going to have have a problem with because Rebchia and his sons came to Eretz Yisrael at a time when the Eretz Yisrael was full of Tanoim. Rebbeinu Hakadosh, oh, yeah, all right, the yeah. there. So what exactly did Rebchia and Rebbeinu have to restore? What Torah? What Torah was forgotten that they had to restore? That's uh-huh. going to be the problem. Okay, let's look back in the Yom Rosh now. Yeah. Shabbat Chilas Keshenish Takcha Torah Misrael Ola Ezra Mibavol Viasta. Chazer Keshenish Takcha Ola Hilla Babli Viasta. Chazer Keshenish Takcha Ola Rebchia Bana Viastua. Pirish Rashi Zal, Kishanish Takha, Toyer Misrael, Loinish Takha Kula Kamar. It doesn't mean, Rashi says, it doesn't mean that the whole Torah was forgotten. Ella Halacha Shchuchai, there were certain halachas that were forgotten. Mi Bnei Vesera, like the story of Bnei Vesera that they forgot. Shahai Rashi Eretz Yisrael, they were the leaders of Eretz Yisrael, Kedarmin and Bepsach and Perki Ludvarim, and what? And they forgot one halacha, if Pesach is Torah Shabbos or not. Okay? All the hill of Babli, Rashi says, "Shemiyom shegal yechani acharish v'amaskir imoy haisi yeshiva mitzuya bebabel." That's what we read in, inside. Now, Uvetoisvus di b'maschul Allah. Toisvus says, "Kasev shehil yasta 
He says, Hillel was the one who brought back the Torah. Why? Shalom Mishmai Avtalian. He learned Torah from Shalom Avtalian. They were in Eretz Yisrael and Babel. That's a good question, but it could be they went into Galus and Babel. Take a look in, we look back in Simon Yud Bey. But the snow, the, the story of Hillel, how he was, uh, you know, he was Teves, you know, he was right. laying on the bed right, better. Right, right. And it was so much snow, it could have been in Babel. No way you can get to have a snow in Babel. You can't have snow in Babel. Okay, so. Maybe, maybe you could have some, some, it doesn't stick. But okay. snow that much, impossible. So in Simon Yud base. Yeah, Rabbi spoke about this Gemara, and he said that it could be Hillel went up to Eretz Yisrael, learned by Shmaya Naftali, and went back to Babel and yeah. lived there. And then, when it came time to to, to take over the Nisias, he went to Babel, to Eretz Yisrael, and he came there on on on, the, on Pesach, and he found the neighbor Sayer not knowing the halacha. But it's not shot that he, they learned. He learned by them in Babel. He learned by them in Eretz Yisrael. Yeah. Okay. Uvi Ritva Sham Niskasha. The Ritva asked the problem. Asked the Kasha on this Gemara. The Rebchi Ubana restored the Torah. The Ritva asked, we don't find that the Torah was forgotten in Rebchi's time. We know there were great Gedolim in Eretz at that time. Right. So the Ritva answers that what's the, what's the meaning of forgotten? It means that there was one halacha that Rabbi Yubanov had to restore. And that's the one that the Gemara in Sukkot speaks about. If you look back in Sukkot, it speaks about uh, the halacha of a machzelis, of a, a mat being good for schach, yeah. in a Kabbal tumor or not. So there was a machlogis Rabbi Doise and there are if it's Makabal tumor's medris or not, if, if, if you sit on it, it's Makabal tumor or not. So Reish Lakish uh, brought down that Rabbi Yubanov explained it. He says, "V'chein Amar Rabbi Yehuvanov." The last two lines of Sukkah. "V'chein Amar Rabbi Yehuvanov." Loy nechlechu Rabbi Doisa of Achachamim al Machzalas shel Usha that they don't argue on the Machzalas of Usha that they are um, Tame, I think, and they don't argue on the Machzalas of Tveri that they're Tahar because certain places they used to sit on the mats, and certain places they never sat on the mats. So in those places where they always sit on the mats, it's Tame. Places where they don't sit on the mats ever, it's Tahar. When were they in that nechluku? When they argue? Only in a place where they sometimes sit on it and sometimes don't sit on it. Other places. And that's where the machlekes Reb Dois and the Chacham was. So that was the halacha that Reb Chi Yuban of Rumachadish. That halacha is called Nishtach Katoyim Israel. You see, one halacha is enough. Uh, how do you do the whole part over one halacha? But you sure right. forgot, well, hold. You sure forgot 300 halachas after Moshe's death. Moshe, you sure. Review any halakha you know, Rebbe, I know it so well, but you brought 300 halakhas. So yeah. why did you go back to the Torah of That's a good question, yeah? but, ne- but ne- it was never brought back. So the Gemara could have said that it was forgotten and it was brought back. Uh-huh. And th- those times, I guess, it was never brought back. Yeah. Anyway, Shekola Mekayim Halacha Achas. So the Ritva says that, what's, what do you see from this Gemara? You see that anybody who brings back one halacha that we forgot, why is that? How could that be? A, the, the because it's, halacha it's halacha so halacha. chashiv to us that we're missing one halacha. Uh-huh. It's like shikha satoyer. That's, that's very, very uh, precious to us. So it, it teaches the preciousness of one now, halacha. Now, what did Ezra restore exactly? I don't know. It doesn't say. Uh-huh. Probably more than that. More than just one halacha. Because uh-huh. people were probably on Ratzim in Eretz Israel. You yeah. see, they were marrying Goyesha wives and everything. Yeah. Okay. That's the first territory of the Ritva. Yeah. And then he says, Uvachlal Devar of Gamkain, included in the words Shikhis Atoyer, is also included, Shiru Uyim Liyastam, that Rabchia was fit, he was fitting to be the one to bring back the Torah. Why? Bekoyach Zichroyne Shibohem, with the power of memory that they had, Rabchia and his sons had. Kidu Amr Beper Kasochis Akoyim, like the Gemara in Bab Messiah, Daf Pehe says, Ano Avidna Shalotish Shtakak Torah Mizrael, I will make the Torah won't be forgotten. And Ad Khan Hashoyin, that's the Ritva, and he's referring to the famous story that Rabbi said, I could make sure if the Torah was being forgotten, I could make sure it's not forgotten. How? You know the story? He said, I'll take, I'll take flax, I'll plant flax, I'll make nets, I'll ne- use the nets to catch deer, I'll take the deer and I'll take right, the skins and, 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 and write in their parchment, you know. Right, the right. Torah. So one, Reishis on one, Shmois on the next one, yeah. and then I'll write Zroim, Moi, Nash, and Zikin, and then I'll go and I'll, I'll bring yeah, children. Yeah. I'll bring children, I'll go to a city that has no Malamed, I'll take the children, I'll teach them, I'll teach each one one, and then I'll have the, each one teach the other one what he learned. Yeah, that's why he had the power, you know, to bring Mashiach, but did, didn't allow it. Okay, so Rabbi Yobanov had the power to bring back Torah to, to, to Klal Yisrael, so even though maybe they did, maybe they didn't, but the point is that they, that's included in what it says that Rabbi Yobanov brought back the Torah. Okay, Venira, 
Mimasha Kosov al Rabhiyu Banov, Shahidshu Bahalak Zu. It seems what the, the Ridva says on, in the first terrace, the Ridva says that Rukhi Yubanov were Makhadish this one halacha in the Gemara about the about the mat, mats and the sukkah. Veloy Pirish Fa'eza Alakha. The Ridva doesn't say which halacha. He doesn't say that it's the mats, but he's gonna say that, that that's what it means. The Kaya al Oisa Halakha shall machzelis. It would seem it is going on the halacha of the mats. The Mayri Sham Bashas, that's what the Gemara is talking about there. But the problem is, the Choyer Shahari Kama Pami Matsinu Bishas, Rabbi Loishana, Rabbi Chia Minayan. The Gemara always says that Rabbi Chia doesn't say anything that Rabbi doesn't say already. So if Rabbi says something, that, if Rabbi Chia says something, it must be somehow hinted at in the Mishnah of Rabbi. Okay? It can't be that Rabbi Chia says something that Rabbi doesn't say already. So if Rabbi says something that Rabbi doesn't say already, it must be somehow hinted at in the Mishnah of Rabbi. Okay? We can't be so, so, how could that be that Rabbi brought back the forgotten Torah? It wasn't forgotten. Yeah? It could be that this happened later. Rabbi Yochanan was Nifter, and then the halacha was forgotten, and then Rabbi came and brought it back. So, the halacha was forgotten. Rabbi brought it back like he heard from Rabbi. This that Rashi says that one halacha and Ridva also says that one halacha forgotten is called forgetting the Torah. That's for sure true. That you have to say. Because the Gemara earlier said that the Torah was forgotten by Hill's time, right? And by Hill's time, what was forgotten? Only one halacha, right? Yeah. There's also no. There's also on how do you bring the knife? You know, and every fall on the shower, you've got to bring it to the Ozara. Yeah, that even Hill didn't remember. remember until, yeah, even he didn't remember that one until they 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 put it into the they saw what the, what the Yidden were doing and they even put the knife into the fur of the animal and no, it's a horn. They tied it to the horn. To the horn? Yeah, tied you know, to the ram's horn and you know and, and dragged the ram because Chayil Sat smoke. Anyway, Shaharei, how you shown Bnei Beseira that in that door there were the Bnei Beseira in the Sea of Israel. There were there many Tanoim alive then. That was the time of Beis Hamikdash. Yeah, everybody was there. All the Chachamim from the whole world were there. Their Sanhedrin was still sitting there. So it can't be the Torah was forgotten. Yeah. Just one halacha was forgotten. Right? Now he's going to go into a digression to just prove that the Sanhedrin was still there. We know that until 40 years before. The Sanhedrin still sat in the base of Mikdash until they moved out because of the, the Ratzchim, right? This story with Hillel and B'nai B'seira happened a hundred years before the Churban. That's when Hillel became a Nasi. The Gemara Shabbos Daf Tesvav, the Gemara says that the chronology is when Hillel became Nasi, it's a hundred years before the Churban. Yui and Shabbat Gemara Barashi. Okay, so you have the chronology straight. 100 years before the Chorban Hill came, 40 years before the Chorban, the Sanhedrin moved out. So obviously the Sanhedrin was there. So, Can't say the Torah is forgotten. It's only going on that one halacha that they forgot, that Pesach is Doich Shabbos. All the Chacham forgot it. Only Hill remembered it. The Kiba Mishmai Ve'avtalian. That he received it from Smaiv Altayim. So Yosta Halacha Zu, he's the one who brought this Halacha back. So what? We see from this that forgetting one Halacha is for sure considered forgetting the Torah. Okay? okay. But, the, but the problem is, we made Rabbi, what was that one Halacha? So we said it's a Sukkah Halacha, the Machzelis. But the Chain Kasha Tuva, Mamasha Amr Shahaya Shikh Satori, we made Rabbi here. That just like we just had asked Akasha, how could Hillel say that he's forgetting the Torah? How could we, the Gemara say that in Hillel's time they forgot the Torah? Either was B'nai B'seir. And so the same question we could ask on uh, Rabbi Chia. Rabbi Yochadosh was alive then. Well, everyone was learning Torah then. The Rambam in his famous Hakdam and Shah says that. That for Moshe Rabbeinu until Rebbe, there was no one who had both the, the greatest amount of chachma in the world and the greatest amount of wealth. So you can't say that Rebbe forgot the Torah. That's why the Ritva is forced to say the Koya Allah Achas, the Mayri Shams. Only one Halacha. 
Alright? Uva Orch Lanair, Nishkasha Bose. The Orch Lanair asked this question also. The Lemot Sinu should Nishtakha Eza Halacha be Meir Bechia. We don't find any halachas being forgotten in Bechia's time. And he doesn't want to learn that it's that halacha of the Machzelis, because that's not really a halacha, it's more like a pshat in the Machlokis or Abdois and the Chachamim. Okay? The Al Korchach Kosov, the Al Kain Kosov, that's why the Orch Lanair learns, like, basically like the second shot of the Ritva, that it's going on the story with Rebchia and the deer skins and teaching the children, right? The same story that's in Bav Metziah, Pei Hei, is also in Ksubas Kuf Gimel. I will make sure the Torah won't be forgotten. It says he, he'll write the, the, the sixth story of the Mishnah on the sixth deer skin. He'll teach each child one, one Seder, right? The Shisa Yanuki, six children. We see from this that if Rebchia had not done this, the Torah would have been forgotten from all of, all of Kali Yisrael. In other words, there were older people who knew Torah, like Rebbe Re- Re- and his friends, his, his Tanoim. But the Pshad is they would have been Nifter, and there wouldn't have been anyone to take them over, because mm-hmm. all the children were ignorant. So he went around, he taught the children. That's what it means, it was forgotten. Doesn't mean it was forgotten, it means it would have been forgotten. Yan Shalule Maisav, not for what he did, Haisa Atoyim Mishtakachas Chas Vashon. Okay? The Efshel Lechavin Zeb is Soif Divrei Ridva, and now we can understand that maybe that's what the Ridva meant, Kasher Takti Lael Vashonai. Ava Bahas Cholas Tvar, but the first terrace of the Ridva, Kasa Befeirish and Mishtakha Az Oista Alacha, he said it's only one Alacha. What, what is he leading up to? I just want to say, what, why is he doing this? Because he wants to tell us something here. You know that Gemara in Shabbos that said the Torah was forgotten? And we, we had a Kasha, a Sida. A Sida Torah. And the Gemara asked the Kasha, it says, Loisi Shacham Mipi Zaroi. Won't be forgotten. So the Gemara yeah. answer is that they won't find the Allah Habura. Yeah. So the, pre- the problem is, but the problem is if we see here, in Sukkah, that forgetting one halacha is considered forgetting the Torah, why didn't the Gemara say that Teretz over there in Shabbos? Uh. That's what's going to be the problem. That's what he's leading up to here. Okay, let's go back inside now. Uh, this is the Aruch Lanair says that Rebchia's generation was called forgetting the Torah, not because they actually forgot it, but because Kivan Shalule Maisav Haisa Torah Mishtek Mishtekachas. Because if not for Rebchia, the Torah would have been forgotten. Zet Sarachi on the That's a very difficult shot. Why Shahar Berevi Matzinu Beferish Shahu Hayabala Maisa. If you're going to talk about people who brought back the Torah from who who prevented the Torah from being forgotten, then you should have mentioned Rebbe too, because Rebbe was the one who wrote down the Mishnah. And if not for Rebbe, the Torah would have been forgotten. He says Rebbe Hayabala Maisa. He was the first one to do this. Rabbi Chia went and wrote down the, the six Sidri Mishnah and taught the children, but who was the first one to write down the Mishnah? Rabbi, obviously, right? Shehitir lichtoiv toir shabapeh. He was the one who, who came out with a heter to write toir shabapeh. Af shehu iser deraisa, even though you're really not allowed to be deraisa. Mishum eis lash is Hashem, may fair is secha. Because when you know, it's a time to do for Hashem, you're allowed to break the toir, you're allowed to write something down that's not allowed to write down. Because if not for the writing of the Mishnah, Since it's not possible to, uh, to remember the Torah, it's allowed to write it down. Upirish Rashi Zal Shalom Deloy Efshel Mili Kosev. Shinis Mai Halev Ya Torah Mishtakachas. It's not possible to avoid writing it because the Torah is getting forgotten. Because people's memories are worse. It says Shinis Mai Halev. Either because of the memories or because of the Gaulists. Anyway, with a Gemara Tmura Daf Tesvav, and it's really Daf Yudal, it's a mistake. Mutav Sheteyaker Toyer of Eloi Tishtacha Chatoyer Mizrael. That there it's talking about the Sifra de Agadata um, that Rabbi Yochel and, and Rish Lakish used to learn every Shabbos from a Sefer Agadata, which is Torah Shabbat Peh. The Gemara asks, how could they do that? The Gemara answer is because Eis Lash is Lashem, and it's Mutav, it's better that Torah should be should be uh, uprooted, meaning like we should be over on the Isra of writing Torah, Shabbat Peh, and rather than the Torah should be forgotten. Okay? Mm-hmm. The Nimsa. So we see according to this, the Lule Maisa Rebbe, if not for the fact that Rebbe wrote down the Mishnah, because he Torah, but Vale Haya Chas Vashalom Shikh Torah, there would have been forgetting. Vim Kane, once the Orach Lanair is right, and you're going to go mention people who prevented the Torah from being forgotten. Then Lama Le Chashavela Ezra Vahil Rabhia. Why do we only list these three people? Ezra, Hill, and Rabhia. 
Vahishmit Rebbe. Why don't we mention Rebbe? Rebbe is the biggest one. He's, he prevented the Torah from being forgotten. Okay? Mm. Bishlam, if you learn that it means there actually has to be forgetting the Torah, then okay, Rebbe's not one of them. But now that we're saying that it means that the Torah wasn't yet forgotten, but they prevented it, Rebbe did the same thing. Well, if you go like the first side of the Ritva, the one halacha was forgotten, so then you could answer up. You could say Rebbe didn't have such a situation. That's why we didn't mention Rebbe. All right? But the Ritva is a little bit schwer, because the Ritva is mashma, both reasons are really one. Because he starts out saying uh, that uh, they forgot one halacha, and then he says, and also in his words is also included the fact that they, they were able to bring back the Torah with the, with the, the children and the deer skins. Right? Yeah. So, uh, he doesn't, doesn't stop in the middle. He doesn't say, I'm saying a second teretz here. How is one teretz uh, related to the other? In any case, what you, what you see from the Ritva and Rashi, we see that the, the first teretz is the more Pasha the Teretz, that what? The one halacha is considered forgetting the Torah. Now that we have this fact that one halacha is called forgetting the Torah, we're going to ask on the Gemara and Shabbos now. Why does the Gemara work so hard to answer the contradiction? That the one pasuk says that they'll be shaited to levakish as devar Hashem v'loyim tzau. They won't find the devar Hashem. Shehu neged akra deloisi shachl mi pizaroi. That's against the other pasuk. Haloy efshel loimar. Can't we just say the mashu omer shich satoyer hakavana shich takhu ezu halachas pratius? Why can't you just say that one one or two halachas will be forgotten, not the rest? Umashu omer deloisi shachl mi pizaroi. That that it says the Torah won't be forgotten. Koy al klolas the Torah. It's going on the rest of the Torah. Why do they have to be to There will come a time when people won't know how to pass in Allah. Maybe this is why the other Pasuk has to be used. The other Pasuk that Rav brought that said, He said, What is this Hafla? When, when the Pasuk says, The Abda Chachmas Chachamav. So then I know that it means that the wisdom will be forgotten. Okay? The Pasuk in Yeshaya calls that completely uh, hidden. Yeah. yeah. So, once we have that Pasuk, the Gemara didn't want to say that it's Tukai al Shikhis Allah Achas, that it's just one halacha. Even though the Lashon in Sukkah is the Torah was forgotten, and it's going only on one halacha, I have a Lashon the Avda Chachmas Chachamav. When he says such an extreme type of expression, you can't say that if they remember most of the Torah and they just forgot one thing. Also the Lashon that says half of a fellow completely hidden doesn't sound like just one thing was forgotten. That when it says that there will be a, a Rav, Loi Rav, Lelechem, Loi Tzama, Lamaim, right? It could be the Gemara held that if you, if you just forgot one thing and you could learn, learn everything else, so that's not called a rav. That's not called a hunger and a thirst. Because you have the Torah, you just, for you, one thing you don't have. It can't be that that's just what the Pasuk meant, just one halacha. Okay? However, the Rebbe says that the real teretz is that Avada, you could say that halacha achas is called, called forgetting. Now, why didn't the Gemara say that? Ki chazal yonu hakoil. The chazal were just saying this not because it was it was forced from the pesukim, but because they knew it with their ruach hakodesh. They knew eich yia hamatzav big for the mashicha. They knew ruach kadshem. They knew with their ruach hakodesh how things would be just before the coming of Mashiach. Or they knew it from their, their own Messiah, from, from uh, Ishmi Piyish, Ad Har Sinai. As we find in the Gemara and Saita, the Gemara lists off different things that will be the most equal to the Mashiach. The Sanhedrin Daf Tzadik Zayn. Harbe and Yon be equal to the Mashiach. Chutzpah Yiske, it says the Chutzpah will increase. The Hayayin be Yoiker, the wine will be expensive, which means there will be lots of partying and drinking. 
Pnei Adora ki Pnei Akelev, they'll be the 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 face of the generation will be like the Kelev, which the different shot them in that. Well, the, the modern, you know, do own a dog. I think it's cool to have a dog, so you know. <laughs> Maybe yeah. The oid kama the kama and yonim. There are many other things that Chazal list over there. Mavhilim, amazing things. Shaloi heviu aleim shum raim ikroi. And the Chazal don't even bring psukim to support themselves. So obviously it was a Messiah or a Ruch HaKoyim. Yeah, Zionists say on this, it's the chutzpah of those who go against Zionists. <laughs> yeah, and this year, he's a chutzpah, you go against the other chutzpah, you know. Right. Uh, and then everybody knows it's the other way around. The Zionists yeah, yeah. are the biggest thing. The like, Gubavich even say, it's the chutzpah against the Rebbe, you know, that you don't believe there as King Mashiach. Anyway, El Abimah Shahaya Ef Sharus La Hasmich Le'akroi in those places where Chazal were able to, to fit it in with the Pasuk, so um, they brought the Pasuk. This is the Klal all over Shas. Whenever the Chazal say a drasha, it doesn't mean that they derived the din from the drasha. It just means that they were able to fit it in with that Pasuk to make it uh, fit. So they did it. But that, that's not really where they knew it from. The Rambam Hakdama, Hakdama, so they say for the Seder Israel, Malkamak Drashas. The Rambam speaks about many drashas, Kamoyim and Mitzvahs Estrog. For example, the Mitzvah to take an Estrog. That, how do we know it's an esteric? How do we know creates harder? Really well, it's just the Gemara esteric. Sukkah. Yeah, okay, so the Gemara makes drushes. Mm-hmm. So the Rambam says, Shabikshu limun mikra. They look for a Pasuk to teach you. Minaya din and the pre eights harder who esteric. How do you know that's an esteric? Vidarshu meilashana hadar. They learn from the word hadar, shahu dar be ilana mishana lashana. Because an esterog doesn't fall off a tree when it's ripe, on other fruits. An esterog stays on the tree. It stays on the tree. So, pre eights harder lashana of dar, dwelling. Right, okay, but the Chas of Shon, the Rambam says, the Vada Yadu Mikvar. Really, the Ram, the, the Chacham already knew that. Before they came to the Drasha, they had a Messiah, they saw, each one saw the previous generation using an Esrug, right? Shetzarach Lika Chesrug, the Osu Kain Dor Achar Dor, the Kabbalah Ad Moshe Rabbeinu, all of a Shon. Everybody did it. El Asheb Bikshu Al Zeagam Remez Mikra. They also looked for a Remez in the Pasuk. The Chain Kas of Shom Al Kama Drashas. The Rambam says they are regarding many other Drashas. The Chazal Yadu Zeh Gam Belav Hachi BeKabala. That the Chazal really knew the the Halacha without the Drasha. Okay. Ukemoy Kain Nir Gam Bozeh. The same thing applies over here. When they said how it will be before Bias Hamashiach, the Chazal Yadu Belav Hachi Amaimed Should Be Ikvod Hamashiach. They already knew. Shaloyim Tzu Halacha Bruv Machanach that they won't find clear Halacha. They won't know who the Pasuk is. It's just that they looked for a Pasuk, so this Rav in Psalm al that was just the Pasuk that they used. According to the Pasuk shot of what they, they say about Ikfus and Meshicha, that the, the face will be like the face of the dog. That the honor will twist. And Pierce Rashi's al So what definite hedron is this? Sad Zion. Zion, okay. It's the same as the end of Saita, same Gemara. Just um, sometimes I guess there might be a little a little difference. Yeah, there but you find it's things. not such a rare thing to find different drugs in those in different Gemara which are the same. The same, right. Yeah. Anyway, Hayoikir Ya Aves, Pierce Rashi's al Balashan Acher, the second Lashan of Rashi says, be Hayoikir Ya Aves. The most honored person among them, Yehe Avson Viramai, he will be a trickster. A so, Zionist, you know, a trickster. So well, very even, honored. Even the, the honored people will be right. Will be uh, clever and uh, and tricksters. The Oid in Yanim Koela Gemara. The Gemara says other such things. So that fits in what he's saying that the halacha won't be clear because if someone is honored and someone's a, a big poisik and he tricks people, so how do you know who to follow? And it could be he's even tricking himself because he doesn't even know whether he's saying Anas Toyer or he's saying it only because of pressures. Yeah. How could you have in such a generation that everybody knows what the halacha is clearly? Who can know? Who to, who to rely on? Who can we count in our when we count up who's the roiv? Who can we count? I already brought down in uh, I think Kuf Samaches the Zoyer Chadash. It says he's Oinein al Oisay Ador. It says very strong words about that generation. Very, uh, he, very lamenting words. Sheiya Buli Chachem Umoyer. There won't be any teachers. The Talmud Hoyga. There won't be any students. The Oyin Yanim in the Roim. Terrifying things. They all they 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 um, they. They connect it with a pasuk that says there'll be shikh satoya, but uh, but not because it has to be that way, but rather because they knew it from their own 
רוח הקודש או מסוער. אבל בשביל שגם זה יודו, they knew it on their own, שמי שירצה לידע האמס, whoever wants to know the truth, יוכל להכיר, oh, but this is something else now, he's saying, אבל בשביל שגם זה יודו, because חז"ל also knew that there is an escape route, even in such a generation where the Torah is forgotten, there's a way to, to, to actually uh, to, to get it back. And that is, that if anybody wants to know the truth, יוכל להכיר מהפסיר שדרכו בוהן הראשונים. He'll be able to look at the previous generation's words and figure it out from there. Zal. K'moy she'evesi m'divay Rashi Zal. The Rashi says in Shir Shirim. L'chein tirtu b'zeh ha'pasuk d'loish yishachim l'pi zaroi k'mavur le'el. That's why Chazal brought the other pasuk in to say, yeah, l'oish yishachach, it won't be forgotten because there's a way to bring back the Torah. Okay? U'kein zeh. A similar thing is, hu ma'asha omru sham b'gemar Sanhedrin Sadiq Zayin. Ein ben David ba'ad sh'tisapich kol ha'machus namiyas. One of the simonim of B'yas ha'mashiach is before he comes, the whole machus will be changed into heresy. Which some learn, of the Rebam uh, Rambalai, there's a whole sefer called that, machus tehafek laminus. It's going on in the state of Israel. Omar Rava, my kra, Rava says, what's the pasuk that that will happen? What's the pasuk that predicts that? Kulei hafak lavan tahrhu. That when the whole person changes into white, then he's tahar. By his hilchus teras. So, bevadai shemi oisei akra ein hechreach. That you can't, you can't prove it from that pasuk. There's no proof that, that you have to darshan shatis hapich kol amachus the minus, that the whole machus will change into heresy. The pasuk is not going on that, it's going on something totally different. It's going on in saras. It's a real halacha, it's not just something extra. It has no, no shaykhis, it doesn't say anything about the machus. Since Chazal knew it on their own, they connected it with the Pasuk. The Rambam says that, that that's the way all the, all the drashas work, most of them. Yeah. The same thing is true of this chilak between um, about Shikh Chesatoy. Shakas for Chazal, Ben Shikh Chesatoy. Umar Omer Chada, Umar Omer Chada, Veloy Pligi. The Rab Shim Bar Yechoy and the Tanakama are really agreeing. That it is true that in this generation, because of the bad influences, we don't always know what's the true Torah. For sure, the people who have some uh, uh, bias in the matter. They have a dark world, they can't see the truth. And even to look back at the Rishonim, they won't necessarily be able to figure it out. Even if they open up a safer from, from uh, 200 years ago, they, might, they still might not be convinced. Like we see today, that people, people read all the stuff that, that's written in Vayol Moshe, and they read all the Ephes built to Chogar that we put out, with all the Makoyers and everything, and still, they're Zionists. Why, why are they still Zionists? Because they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't even if they hear the words of the Rishonim, they don't realize it. The, bri- bl- the bribe that blinds the eye of the wise, who are Masalak Divrei Tadikim, it also changes the words of Tadikim. Shemesalfim, in other words, they take the words of Tadikim that really spoke the truth and they go and they, they uh, twist them. Shemesalfim Gam Divrei Tadikim Mukdoishim Shabdoish Shalafonenu. They twist the words of the previous Doris, Lahamis Gam Bedivreim Darkam Hara. And they go and they try to push their words into them. They try to like pretend that they were also Zionists. And they, they turn upside down the words of Hashem. That the uh, Mepharshim say that when it says you rebelled with Hashem. What does that mean? Their, their uh, rebellion was with Hashem, not just some against Hashem. They said, yeah, Hashem agrees with what we're doing. Because they said strange explanations of the Torah, and that's how they got their uh, rebell- rebellion against Hashem. And they, they, they learn Pshat in the Torah, they always go and they say the Miraglim is the anti-Zionists, and they say that, uh, that uh, Bar Kokhba was a Tzaddik, and they go and they, they make uh, everything, they turn everything upside down. Yeah. Despite all that, Anybody who puts his, his mind to it and thinks about the Dvar Hashem, and who tries to, make, to figure out the truth, he'll take any bias away from his mind. Hashem will help him. He'll, he'll come to the, the recognition of the truth from what the Rishonim say.